When I first became a vegan 29 years ago, and I was as broke as anyone could be, you know, I was making $2,000 a year, I didn't have running water, I didn't have a bathroom, and I lived in an abandoned factory. So all I can say is what I did then, I made a lot of brown rice, I made a lot of lentils, um, a lot of oats, raisins, nuts, seeds. I mean, I could feed myself on $10 a week easily. Make like a big pot of brown rice and that would serve me for a couple of days. Make a big pot of lentils or beans, that would serve me for a while. Every morning I would have oatmeal with raisins and walnuts or something, and that was super inexpensive. And then I would buy oranges, I would steam broccoli, I would splurge and make tempeh. I mean, granted, I'm not saying everyone can do this, but I proved to myself that I could feed myself on $10 a week. So if I'm looking at like a family in an environment, you know, family living in a food desert where the parents are both working full-time jobs and they're looking for convenient food, or even just like a new vegan who's broke looking, at, looking for convenient food, spaghetti and tomato sauce. Um, peanut butter and sugar-free jelly on whole grain bread, you know, oatmeal with raisins and some sort of nut. Like these are solid, nutritious foods. And then smoothies, you know, go to Bed Bath & Beyond and buy a $40 blender and once a day put a banana, some spinach and some berries and some water in your blender and you've just had like a little nutritional powerhouse that costs next to nothing.